So I got moon shoes for Christmas one year and I was expecting to have trampolines on my feet. But all I got were two strap-on blister machines pretty much. So my most disappointing gift was an Easy Bake Oven. Uh, I begged my parents for one based off of the commercials. It was awful. Mm, I'm gonna go with Furbies. The commercial it looks like this super fun amazing thing and then you get it and it's kind of anticlimactic I remember. The Hot Wheels 360 like stunt loop with the thruster and all that. It, it looks so cool in the commercials. It was just not all the hype that I thought Hot Wheels were meant to be. I became obsessed with the uh, Snuggles little white bear that was associated with a laundry detergent or fabric softener. So my mom said she's had to spend two months looking for this little stuffed animal. And by the time she did and I got it on Christmas morning, I was over it. So there was this commercial for a board game called Bonkers and it seemed like the most exciting board game in the world. It was so boring and it didn't actually work at all like they said it was going to. I had a disappointing CD that I saved and bought my Christmas money with and it was Nina Sky. Nina Sky. <laughs> My favorite was from the Daisy Penny catalog. It was a karaoke machine. Operation was the, the little gadget where you had to use the tweezers to take out the body parts. It's a dollhouse that my grandpa built for me at the height of my Barbie doll obsession. Dream phone, where you call prospective, um, I guess, love interests. She got me the most beautiful stuffed horse that had like an embroidered bridle and saddle on it and I still have that horse to this day. My mom surprised me with tickets to Taylor Swift and I lost my mind. So ecstatic and excited to receive a Miracle World doll. Probably my favorite toys were always the Fisher Price Little People. The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Megazord, like the first one. Um, I just remember all the commercials for it. Whenever I opened that present and saw it, I just flipped out. It kind of made me uh, super excited about Sega and more more of a, a spokesman for Sega inside my uh, junior high school than I think Sega probably ever knew they had. Hot Pockets never let me down. Happy Holidays. Happy Holidays. Happy Holidays from Idea Grove. Happy Holidays from Idea Grove.